Welcome to this new video on our series, uh, Demystifying AI. So now what we are going to do is to answer the, the question about, uh, is it possible to have tools, software tools, AI, that are at the same time based on recognition and based on reasoning, using recognition and reasoning, being based on data, being based on knowledge. We have seen that there are these two kinds of AI, uh, but is it possible to have both at the same time? So the answer is yes. And by the way, this is what we usually call, call uh, AI simulation, bringing AI with simulation and putting all that together. So rather than going into uh, you know, the technical details, I'm, I'm not sure it, it would be very interesting in such a, in such a video. Let me uh, give you an example on when you can use this kind of AI that is doing both recognition and reasoning. Uh, imagine that you, you're managing a supply chain. So you see a supply chain, you have products, you manufacture them, you buy them to, to, to suppliers, you sometimes assembly them, you put them together and then you send them to your, uh, to your customers. And imagine that you're, you have a very complex supply chain because you, you have suppliers almost everywhere in the world, you have customers everywhere in the world and you want to be able to optimize your supply chain, to find the best possible way to serve a volatile demand. So you know that you, 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 people can change their mind or you know, it's very difficult to know what they are going to, to, to buy and you want to, to, to do that. So what do you need? Well, first you need to create a demand forecast, you know, have a forecast of the demand, kind of a guess, but of course, as um, accurate as possible that will say, okay, in the next uh, weeks or months or years, depending on your business, here is what the demand will be. But you need another thing. You say, okay, this is good. It may be the demand. So I may have to organize myself to supply, I mean, to respond to this demand. But the, the problem is that there may be a lot of uncertainty because there is volatility. So what you need to do is to be able to take your supply chain, your whole supply chain, and do and test different scenarios, the way you organize your supply chain, the, the level of stocks you will need, the maximum level of stock, the minimum level of stocks, the way you use your transportation system, your logistic, put all that together and add also the uncertainty. And these two things, the first one, demand forecast, it's an AI tool that you're going to build. You're going to look at all the past and try to learn from this data. It's database AI, it's recognition AI that is able to say, okay, here is what may be the demand in the future. But the second part, to be able to simulate and to add uncertainty, you need knowledge. You need a lot of knowledge about your supply chain, how it works, how it, what happened in the different factories, what happened you know, with, the, with, with, the, with the trucks, or with the, the, the planes, or with the, the boats, whatever. You have to take all this knowledge to put it together and to mix it with the demand forecast and then run hundreds of thousands of simulations. You're going to use the knowledge to use the database data. You put all that together and then you're going to run a lot, a lot of simulations and make that and make the, the, the system be able to generate a lot of possible futures and also to help you navigate among them to find the best possible way to organize your supply chain to serve a volatile demand. So that's the kind of AI they use both. And of course, it's extremely powerful. Of course, it's not as powerful as our brain in general, but for some applications, for some situations in which there is a huge complexity where our brain is not able to manage all this complexity, these tools can be extremely efficient, extremely powerful for you to make the best possible decisions based on this generation of scenarios and navigation into the scenarios and to, to, to make either human making the decision or sometimes you can try to automize these, these decisions. So that's, that's all for this video. Uh, if you have not seen, done it yet and seen it yet, you can go to the video about and what is generative AI and chat GPT in all this picture? Thank you very much.